This is the Army today. Evolving prosthetics give amputees a real shot at an active life. This is what we do here at Montreal. Do we get to come and play in the mud? Yeah. I like it. I feel more stable in it than the, uh, the Oser. Today, Sergeant Fairfax is getting a new knee. I was falling a lot in it, and it was just a pain in the butt because it's more embarrassing than anything else when you, when you fall <laughs> in public. Amputees like Sergeant Fairfax come to Walter Reed to get state-of-the-art prosthetics. I feel bad for our surgeons. They wind up having to take something very significant away from someone. And I get to be the guy who gives at least part of that back to them. The process begins with a plaster mold of the patient's limb. This is going to get messy quick. And then I take that mold, create a model, and I take that model and then I hand shape it. The mold is covered in plastic and then placed into an infrared oven. The infrared rays actually penetrate down into the plastic and soften it. So then at this point, Art's going to take this and uh, clean up the trim lines, and he'll mount up his components, install a valve, and off the patient goes. Creating lifelike parts requires a meticulous artist who captures every detail, right down to the toenail. Hopefully in like six more months, I'd like to get back to, back to running. For a long-term goal, Sergeant Fairfax, who remains on active duty, is looking to get right back to where the action is. A year from now, I like to you know, get back to deploying downrange. Even though I might not be able to do it everything physically like I used to be, I still, you know, got it up here. And now, thanks to the prosthetist at Walter Reed, he's got it down here too. Crystal Park, Washington. That's the Army Today from the Soldiers Media Center, Washington.